Hi, I'm Diane Bolden, executive coach and author of The Pinocchio Principle, Becoming a Real Leader. Today I want to tell you about a pretty pivotal conversation I had about 15 years ago, right after I first started my business. It was with a CEO who slightly resembled Mr. Potter from It's a Wonderful Life. He asked me for my business card, and at the time I had a tagline on it that said, Extraordinary results, less effort, more joy. It was something I really wanted my business to stand for, something I wanted to achieve in my own life and that I, I wanted to help my clients achieve in theirs as well. And he read that tagline and began to shriek with laughter. It wasn't the kind of laughter that you share with somebody who's in on the joke. It was a scalding, cutting kind of cackle that implied you were the joke. And I remember thinking at the time, clearly this man is not my ideal client. He was a shrewd businessman for whom results meant a lot. But the idea of extraordinary results with less effort in his mind was preposterous. And joy clearly had no place in business as far as he was concerned. I remember smiling politely, mustering a few lame words, and removing myself from his presence at the earliest convenience. And though I really believed in the power of that tagline, after that conversation, I began to see it through a different lens. And a couple weeks later, I stopped using it entirely. The problem with that conversation was not with the man I was talking to. It was that the conversation resonated with a Mr. Potter-like voice I had going on in my own head. The voice of my conditioning. It was a voice I had internalized about the way the world works. And if you've been following my work at all, you know that I refer to this voice as the voice of the puppet. It said, extraordinary results. Isn't that hyperbole? Is that actually possible? What does that even mean? Less effort? <laughs> Everything requires hard work and lots of effort. Nothing is easy. It's an unavoidable, inescapable fact that you have to pay your dues. Suck it up. More joy. Work isn't supposed to be fun. That's why they call it work. I didn't realize how much of a grip the puppet had on me. The stronger, wiser part of me knew the truth of that tagline, but I wouldn't be able to truly live it until I learned to deactivate the voice of the puppet that had me seeing it the way I was seeing it after that conversation. It was like looking at a picture that has two images in it that you can't see both of at the same time. I wouldn't be able to see the other image until I stopped focusing so intently on the one that was jumping out at me. The voice of that conditioning was strong because I grew up hearing it. It was a voice that compelled me to work harder and faster when what I really needed to do was slow down and take a break. It was the voice that had me taking on over and over and over again roles and projects and obligations that I knew I didn't have the time or the bandwidth to actually do. It had me equating my value with a number of things on my plate and my identity with whatever the definition of success was that I had at the time, a fancier title, a bigger salary, etc., etc. It took me a while to break through that conditioning. And when I did, I came to better understand the power of that tagline. Last week, I found a document that had that old tagline on it. And it led me to recall the conversation I just told you about and to realize just how differently I had come to see that tagline. And I think it's worth unpacking. So I wanna break it down here. First, extraordinary results. It's not hyperbole. It's something we're all capable of. When we learn to get out of that autopilot, operational, check the box, day-to-day -day frenzy of activity that has us all so incredibly busy, but not very productive. Extraordinary results are what happen when we lift our sights to something higher, when we begin to entertain the possibilities that are dancing around in the back of our minds. When we ask the question, wouldn't it be great if, and we allow that question to guide our creativity and our curiosity and to align our actions. Extraordinary results are what happen when we dare to break the mold 
and to apply our unique talents to meeting a need of an organization, a community, a marketplace. Extraordinary results are the work of genius, and it's something we can all access when we learn to stop letting the conditioned voice of the puppet shut us down. Now let's talk about less effort. I don't mean to imply that results can be achieved without any effort, and I am not saying that effort is important. What I am saying is that when you get clear on what's most essential, the stuff that previously had you spinning your wheels begins to fall away. And there's less wasted effort. There's less extraneous effort. There's less of what I call over-efforting, saying yes to unimportant things that keep you from doing the vital work you have the talent and vision for. It's not about avoiding hard work either. It's about having the courage to clear the space and the time to do the work that's important to you. And the effort you put into that work feels like something that fuels you as opposed to something that depletes you because the work you're doing is work you care deeply about. It's meaningful, it's vital, and it's probably inspiring. Your work becomes a choice instead of a chore, and as a result, it feels a heck of a lot lighter. What about joy? What I'm talking about goes deeper than the hedonistic kind of joy that's fleeting. It's the joy of unearthing your creativity and applying your talent to something worth working for. It's the joy that comes from serving others. It's not selfish, it's generous. It's about using your unique talent to do something that's a contribution that actually makes somebody else's life brighter. And work that's created out of joy brings more joy to everyone it touches. And it serves as the kind of fuel that allows you to continue to do good work, to get more extraordinary results. It's truly a win-win. So now I'm curious. Extraordinary results, less effort, more joy. Do you believe it's possible?